You it is good yo it's your boy Tad back here with another video and in this video today we are going to be doing a we're just gonna be talking about the galaxy opal rudy gay that is coming to nba 2k22 my team tomorrow we're gonna be talking about what else could come with rudy considering it is a signature series set as well as is rudy going to be the top small forward in the game gonna be covering all those details in this video now before we dive into that if you are new to my channel make sure to smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 90,000 subscribers so here, here's the deal Rudini will be available in signature series five packs tomorrow now last Rudy we saw was absolutely incredible and he shouldn't have been okay he, he should not have been as good as he was Animation wise was great. Release wise was great. Quick dribble style obviously is incredible. Scotty behind the back. I mean, when you think of Rudy, you think of cheese, but you don't think of like stat badge wise this Rudy being that good. Now, one thing I will say is if you do not think this Rudy on current gen, especially where this Rudy was way better on current gen than next gen, is going to be a top small forward in the game, you're just wrong. It's just as simple as I can put it. You're just wrong if you do not think he's going to be up there. For being one of the best small forwards in the game. Now, what will they make the Galaxy Opal Rudy look like? That is probably a question a lot of you guys have, and I really don't have an accurate picture to give you guys. I don't. He's not going to be obviously as good as this Rudy, but he's not going to be as bad as the Pink Diamond Rudy. He's probably going to be somewhere in between. One thing we do got to look at is we got to look at kind of the most recent Galaxy Opals we got. So, like KG, for example, saw 17 Hall of Famers as a 97 overall. Rudy's a 98 overall. Maybe we're looking at 17, maybe 18 Hall of Fame badges with Rudy. Sean Kent, for example, you're looking at 17 Hall of Famers. So with Rudy, you're looking at probably 17, 18 Hall of Famers, probably, you know, 43, 44 on gold. You're probably looking at a total of close to 50, 55 total badges with Rudy. What you do know is you're going to get a good defender. That's what you know. A guy to be your lock, I don't know about necessarily that, but what I will say is he's going to be able to guard one of the two primary boy handlers. Or if you don't want him to guard the ball handler, he's going to be just fine, you know, not guarding a ball handler. The reason I didn't wasn't super on this Rudy is because he couldn't get Limitless Spot Up. This new Rudy, I almost guarantee, will be able to get Limitless Spot Up. The most exciting part about Rudy to me is he's going to have some sort of playmaking, hopefully Hall of Fame quick first step, way more defense. You're probably looking at, you know, at least four or five Hall of Fame defensive badges. Obviously, shooting-wise, we're going to get the Rudy base on quick, which, look, guys, I'm going to just throw it out there, is one of the smoothest releases and quickest releases in the game. Quick dribble style, style Scotty behind the back. I mean, here's what I'll say. He's not even the main attraction of this set we're going to get. And that's the really scary part is Rudy's just a card, man. He's, at the end of the day, just a card that's coming tomorrow. Not the best card but he's a card that you're gonna see a lot of people run in 250k and i promise you guys right now i will be one of those people as long as they just make rudy a little bit better you know improve the interior to maybe an 83 80 45 strength maybe up to a 75 80 somewhere in there just to improve the speed lateral quickness uh stats a little bit more because one thing i will say is rudy's animations on both ends of the court not just offensively are something you can't make up you know you swing out the corner you get a chase down block with rudy with no hall of fame defensive badges you know you, you you get weird contests with rudy he's just one of those guys you can throw out on the court you know he's gonna green you know he's gonna get good defensive animations and he's gonna be incredible a lot of people might have wanted rudy to have the shooting guard eligibility i'm perfectly okay with him not having shooting guard eligibility small forward is perfectly fine with what i want for rudy it's important to note this is a signed card, okay? So that means Signature Series obviously is coming and there's going to be two versions of Rudy. Now, let's go back to the last Signature Series cards that we saw. Let's see where they are. We're even at. I don't even know. Signature Series, it looks like four was right here, which we got Clay, KD, some cards like that. So, guys, so this was a pretty good content drop. You obviously have the lock-in. Usually, uh, this obviously was Anton Jameson. You got the 75th anniversary KD was there, but you had just an all-around decent content drop. It's not super deep, right? When we go in here and look at this signature series sign set, it's not that deep. You got some budget ballers, but it's not that top heavy. So probably looking at one opal, maybe two dark matters tomorrow, possibly. That's what we're looking at, but we did see a good KD, a good clay as well. And these cards, if you look at them, they had 16 Hall of Famers basically a month ago, two months ago almost. So 
don't be surprised if Rudy, you know, comes out tomorrow and has 18, 19, maybe even 20 Hall of Famers in like 40 golds. He could be one of the most complete cards in the entire game. And that's honestly what I am excited about. I'm also excited of what's to come. We should get a center, whether that's Kareem, d Rob, one of those two. Also, maybe could be looking at a point guard because 250 is right around the corner. They might try shifting up some lineups with that. But I do expect a decent content drop with Rudy, right? I mean, I, that's one thing I, I expect. Normally, I talk about, you know, what did we just get that 2K wants uh, people to lock in for and then we get better? Dwight, center power forward. I'd be surprised we get a really good center power forward tomorrow just to kind of make people regret locking in Dwight. Same thing with Clay. Don't be surprised if, you know, we get a really good shooting guard small forward. I don't know who it could be but that tomorrow as well. So just some things to kind of keep your eye on and monitor as we do head in to uh, this content drop. By the time you guys are seeing this, maybe we do know all of this, but I mean, guys, to say Rudy is not on a squad is crazy. I think for 250K, he has to play. He's just a guy you can trust. A guy you can put out on the court. It's not gonna hurt you. Not gonna sit up here and say he's better than Kawhi because I don't necessarily know if that's true. But if you do not believe Rudy is a top, you know, small four power 42K, then I, I just think you're ultimately wrong. So you were saving up hoping KD could play in 250 or thinking KD is going to be better than him. He's not. The only guy at small forward, well, I guess if you play a lot, Giannis at small forward, maybe him. But the only other guy at small forward, if you do play Scotty at the two, which most people do, that I think could be better than Rudy is a guy like Kawhi Leonard. Really think that is what we're looking at. It's gonna be interesting though, because if I look at signature series sets right over here uh, on my on my console, you guys can't see them. Okay, it's interesting because you look at events and for each signature series, you have a lock in. First it was Bird, next it was Howard, then it was Cousins, next it was Jameson. So who is gonna be the signature lock in? Who else could we see as well? Those are the things that are going to be really extremely interesting. As really, guys, it's 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 preparation day for 250k tomorrow. So, Rudy, if you guys are wondering, he's definitely going to play in 250 unless they really make this card not very good. But right now, definitely am counting on Rudy to play for me and to be my backup small forward at this current moment. Who else do I think is coming again? I do think we are going to get an elite center tomorrow because I don't think 2K wants people going out there with Chris Stapps in 250. I just have a hard time seeing 2k want to see a guy like chris steps out there with the pink diamond glow instead of maybe a dark matter ream dark matter d rob something like that so again by the time you guys do see this video we should know more of what is to come but right now we do know that galaxy opal rudy is coming to nba 2k 22 my team tomorrow let me know your thoughts on rudy down below in the comments do you guys think rudy is going to be that top notch small forward power forward in 2k or do you guys just think he's going to be one of those guys? I think with Quick, with Rudy Base, which will be on Quick, with the badges they're going to give him, the sign card, there's just a lot going on with Rudy that I definitely am a big, big fan of. But I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments as we do prepare for the 250K tournament, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.